All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Shema, 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 the the uh lesson that I'm putting out right now, you know, because in today's time, which I did a lesson uh, you know, a couple days ago, going into modern medicine and the pharmaceutical industries, you know, they're um heavily connected to sorcery. You know, these different um MDs, you know, medical doctors, uh and uh you know, practitioners in um uh, the 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 modern Modernized pharmaceutical, uh, uh, or, or basically in the hospital business in today's time, they all gain their practices off of uh, sorcery. You know, when they go to school, go to the educational system. You know, which they have to, uh, you know, basically go for more years. If I'm not mistaken, that you know, gaining masters. You know, and it takes a lot more effort and, and definitely a lot more um, debt. You know, a lot more money. Uh, when when you're actually going for these practices, because this is one of the highest occupations in Esau society, uh, being a a doctor, you know, a doctor or working in the pharmaceutical industry, uh, you know, producing these different drugs or distributing them over the counter, whatever um, occupation you serve, they pay, you know, they get top dollar annually. You know, some of the highest occupations. And then that's because they're uh, working on the left hand side. This is a uh, blatant witchcraft, you know. And this article, you know, gives, you know, elaborates pretty well, you know, of of the points of of the scriptures. But I'm gonna jump into it. it says I have heard that the sorcerer is described in the Book of Revelation. Um, I'm just jumping down, to, you know, to that point. Are actually medical practitioners, and that we are sinning when we go to see our doctors. Any truth in this claim? Just a word before you proceed. Please ensure that you check out other articles listed at the foot of this page. And he said, there are three or four places in the New Testament describing sorcerers and sorcery. Um, in the King James, that is, newer translations often don't use the, these words. Some, mainly in the cult, sex, and extremist char charismatic groups, have associated these references with modern pharmacists and that in the medical profession, but there is there any validity in this approach? We need to look at the words very closely. And, you know, you have the uh, term sorcerer for number one in Acts 13 and 6, and it goes back to uh, magos or magos, and it means sorcerer, magician, or wise man. Uh, he said there is no association with pharmacy or medicine. Now, you had different um, witches, all right? All witches, their job wasn't to... Um, you know, distribute products, you know, you had different witches that, uh, with different occupations. That's why when you read in Acts, the 16th chapter, uh, it speaks about the uh, pithos. When you go into the uh, Greek, uh, the, the interaction of the woman that actually had familiar spirits, she had possession of familiar spirits with Lord will not do a whole lesson on that. Also, she was a um, she was a high witch. You know, she she uh, actually practiced the act of uh, divinations. Yep, it has it right here. She was a, a divinationist, so to speak. She she pushed out divinations, and you watch that on um, the movie Three Hundred with Leonidas when he went to go see the Delphic Oracles, because this is really what it's going into the Delphic Oracles or the or Oracles of Delphi, and they would practice divinations and how witchcraft, and they would foresee a major events that were to take place, and um. You know, through through actually summoning spirits on the left hand side, and and in that movie, that um, that witch, she told Leonidas that he was gonna die. You know, if he were to um, you know, go a particular route, it would end in his demise. Now, was she over the counter selling uh pharmaceutical drugs? Hell no, that wasn't her practice. You know, you had different witches, such as also the witch of Endor. You know, she she was a, a necromancer. She would bring dead spirits to life now and these are two different styles of witches you know the uh, spirit of di giving divinations they don't you know they some of them summon spirits but some of them actually you know just deal with demons you know but it all depends on the practice of that particular witch 
And it says what brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. So their practice of making money was gain by soothsaying, you know. And um, going back to the articles, he said there's no association, you know, but that's a different, um, like I said, occupation. You have number two, sorceries. This is from the Greek magi. It refers to magic, no connection with pharmacy. Um, and like I said before, and you had the magis in the, in the time of Exodus, and, and right here, Acts 8 and 11, that um, would practice magic. You know, you have David Blaine, you have uh, Chris Angel, you have various, uh, so, you know, people that practice that art of magic in today's time. Some of them are fictional, but some of them actually, um, you know, deal with those left-hand side spirits. And it goes back to the ancient Egyptian magis. Now you have um, sorceries. And from it's from the Greek pharmakeo. It says there is some connection here to the word pharmacy, which we must look at in the in the moment. But um, it's in sorcerers, Revelation twenty one and eight and twenty two and fifteen. These uses of sorcerers use a different Greek word for to the sim singular use of this word in Acts thirteen and six. So this is not the plural of the same word from the Greek pharmakeos. So there is a connection between all four uses of the word. There is indeed a relationship here to the English pharmacy, which, of course, is directly derived from the Greek words. Is this calling modern medical practitioner sorcerers or is this saying that you sh and I should never visit a doctor? And um, the, the point is. Uh, which you which you'll read. Matter of fact, I'm just going to go a little bit more. He's. He said the root meaning of this group of Greek words is drug is poison or given to potions. These particular sorcerers were persons able to prepare and dispense potions. But why did they dispense these potions? Was it in order to give relief from illness? Absolutely not. It was in order to stimulate hallucinogens or visions. We must understand that it was no longer. It was long part of pagan religious practice to administer poison, potions or drugs which would enc encourage hallucinations. There's, of course, a direct parallel here to modern illicit drug taking. But these original pharmacists were involved in the black arts and demonology. The basic idea was that taking certain potions could bring into contact with the spirit world. And this was to be desired. And that's the same thing in today's time now. You know, these different individuals that take these legal drugs. They, um, you know, they, they actually take it. You know, in turn, in turn, and some of them actually get hallucina uh, hallucinations, you know, and you had the, um, you know, the book, I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, it was Albert Pike that wrote how um, drugs and um, like basically modern medicine is uh, de demons and drugs, you know, it's, it's somewhere to that degree. It was an actual book that was published and he showed a, a correlation of uh how drugs and are are basic are basically connected to uh sorcery you know um i'm just going to jump down to uh the main point but it it you know the the fact of the matter is that doc, even the word doctor it means to falsify in today's times these different drugs that people are uh pushing out and taking is is like i said is allopathic is is alternative and and they um they sicken you. You know, you have kidney problems. A lot of children, they develop Alzheimer's. They actually develop, develop de dementia. Their organs start to uh, get weakened due to the, uh, the drugs that they take in, in the uh, pharmaceutical industry. And, and if, if it wasn't the case, why would they name it the industry, the pharmaceutical industry? Because they know it goes back to the Greek, which pharmakeia, which means a spell given potion. When you look up that word pharmacy, it does go back to witchcraft and, and, you know they they're trying to uh water it down to a certain degree, but they did hit a a good point in this one passage right here. It says we must understand that on several occasions the Bible backs up the principle that sick people should look around for remedies for their sickness. This is a very clear biblical principle. Let's look at some examples, and that's definitely true. When you become sick and you have certain ailments, you have to deal with the the herbs of the earth. All right. It says when Job was afflicted. By boils, he seemed to be aware of the principle that the draining sores need to dry out, so he sat in ashes. See, in Job 2 and 7 and 8, Jeremiah refers to the balm of Gilead, which was evidently deemed to have medicinal qualities. Jeremiah 8 and 22 to 46 and 11, you know, I'm not going to get them. You know, you have the 
if you want to look, brothers want to look them up. It says, when Hezekiah was seriously ill, Isaiah told him to put some figs to boil, although we cannot be sure in what way this may have been medicinal. Um, and, you know, the list goes on and on. You know, went through a, a series of scriptures, you know, to show how um, men had, men of the Bible had certain clear, clarity when dealing with herbs, and they knew that they had power to them. And there was no hospital that, whether Yahweh Shah, the disciples, or the prophets, the men of the Lord referred people to go to when they were sick and they needed, uh, you know, uh, help. When when um when individuals were were cursed by devils, Yahweh Shah went to them and he healed them. He didn't say, yeah, you know, go to the uh, Roman hospital, and uh, you know, you take, you know, you take two two pills, you know, and in in the next fifteen days your symptoms should be relieved. No, because the Romans. Just like in today's time, the Americans, they would prescribe witchcraft unto the people to keep them sick and to keep them possessed by devils so that they could keep them in their industry. You see? And this is uh, Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. And these pre prescribed medicines are, in today's time, they're known as over-the-counter drugs. You know, they are prescribed legally. But they just they uh, uh uh are evidently shown to 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 sicken you worse and kill you, so that has an exact correlation with today's time. You know, which the question they ask does a pharmacy have a, a correlation to the um to witchcraft or sorcery? Yes, they do. Like I said, the magi's and these different witches, you know, they actually occupy different positions, just like in today's time. All witches aren't the same, you know. You have, uh, even today's time, uh, when you're even dealing with witches, they have many sects, you know, uh, where there's, you know, people practice white magic, uh, uh, I think you such thing as green witches, black magic, you know, and these different pr uh, witches have their own philosophies and, and ways that they live, but it all goes back to witchcraft, and the scriptures tells you, which I'm going to get that, you know, and it don't matter what type of witch it is, it's all against the, the heavenly father and his laws. All right. Exodus 22 and 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live, you know, and it doesn't matter which which denomination, you know. It, witchcraft is evil, you see. And um, when the so-called white man actually started to bring in his uh, system in the Americas, you know, you had certain events that take place like the Salem witch trials. And uh, a lot of those individuals that they deemed as witches, a lot of them were midwives that actually practiced natural um forms of medicine because they wanted to erect a bigger corporate establishment to uh push out heavier sorcery with without ind individuals actually uh you know getting in, in in their business because the midwives will do what they would have natural um they would have natural births and those natural uh births would actually take away from the uh, finances of the uh corporate government because America now is um uh, it's basically being uh, uh, corporate, you know. I want to get this. Uh, quick scripture. Yeah, Ezekiel 23, 28 and 2. Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, thus saith the Lord power, because thine heart is lifted up and thou hast said, I am a God. I sit in the seat of God in the midst of the seas. Yet thou art a man and not the most high. Though thou set thine heart as the heart of the Most High, behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. And the so-called white man, he he researches the scriptures. He knows that bombs, tinctures, salves, um, poultices, you know, essential oils, um, natural herbs and spices. That's the the medicine that the Lord, you know, planted within the earth for man to use. And that's why when these, uh, um, you know, whether you're dealing with, which I was just looking into murder today, a, a video on murder and the, the, you know, antiseptic and antibacterial benefits that it, that it holds. But they can never say in the, in the natural world that it cures you because the so-called white man has basically, um, you know, black, somewhat blacklisted natural uh, herbs. You know, it's, it's, 
it's a, 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 a underground thing. Most people don't know the benefits of frankincense, myrrh, aloes, you know, uh, and, and the, all these different other plants and uh, flowers, you know, but m majority of these people, when they're sick, they, they run where? To these, to these big corporate hospitals, you know, and these hospitals are filled up. If, if you drive to the hospital local to you, you know, closer to you, you're going to see all kinds of sick people. And if you actually pull them to the side and ask them their ailment, and tell them the earth that they could actually get to uh, use, they're not going to believe you. You see, because the so-called white man has painted a picture to run to his hospitals for security and help, you know, and that's that trust in Egypt. They made Egypt their crutch. And when it speaks, it tells you how, uh, you know, the, uh, the strength of Egypt is going to be a shame. So verse four, it says, with thy wisdom and with thy understanding that has gotten the riches, you see, and, and the medical industry profits uh, humongously, you know, off of uh, uh, witchcraft and that's why most of the people are sick and they're like i said they're under a certain hallucina hallucination and that's that american dream and it says it has gotten gold and silver into thy treasures by thy great wisdom and by thy traffic has thou increased thy riches right and the trafficking is the the major imports and exports of, of products you know and when you watch these documentaries uh, freeway rick walsh or, or or matter of fact frank lucas which he was a big drug lord and he would get his drugs from uh, overseas and he would stuff them in coffins, you see? And that's what actually uh, helped traffic drugs to the United States. And the so-called white men will, will, you know, speak these different, speak about these different wars that's taking place and they're occupying these lands to uh, get their resources, whether it's poppy, coca leaf, you know, and, and they actually use these different drugs, you know, to create opioids, man. And that's a fact. When they go to these different lands and they uh, occupy and, and, and sit on top of the resources, they're getting them to drug, to uh, uh, transport and ship them, you know, whether through cargo or, or whatever means of trafficking, you know, through plane, the seas, naval, you see, um, to traffic and to increase their uh, riches. And they make billions, multi, that's a multi-billion dollar, if not trillion dollar conglomerate, uh, the, the, the drug drug and medical industry, you know. It says, and thy heart is lifted up because of thy riches. And that's why the Lord is going to take this, this man down, you know. It says, therefore, thus saith the Lord power, because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of the Most High. Behold, therefore, I will bring strangers upon thee, which is the other nations, the terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom, and they shall defile thy brightness. And we're living in a time of the fall of Esau, and that brightness represents the uh, elevation. You know, you have the, the emblem of Lady Liberty, which represents Esau being exalted, and his uh, illumination, the shining light uh, broadcasting up upon the whole world, you know. But the, the so-called white man's power and his grips on this earth is, is diminishing. But, you know, I just wanted to drive home that point in that article, you know, a couple points through the spirit and just, you know, push out the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shah because we in them times to, like the scripture says, you know, uncover the, the uh, leg, make bare the uh, thigh, you know, in uh, Isaiah the 47th chapter, basically to fully expose this man, you know, and his system, everything that comes with the system. All right, so I want to end by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shema Shah by Shema Krakodash, double honest to the apostle and the elders of the great millstone. Shalom, Makim.